Hey guys, welcome to The Hunter, Call of the Wild. So this is a first person hunting game that I'm checking out and I've been playing it for a while now and I'm actually quite impressed. It was a bit clunky, the controls aren't the best, but it's actually a lot of fun and very different from usual first person games. There's a lot of patience. So we have to stay hidden, we have to make as little noise as possible and of course we have to hunt down animals so it's quite enjoyable and i really have been loving it and it's gorgeous as well like it's got moments when it's like foggy or the sun's coming through the trees and stuff where it just looks insanely good and uh, it's a huge world so i should bring up the map so I'm down here, kind of the south of this area, and this is the size of the place. It's absolutely massive. It's incredible. So obviously what we're on right now is roads, and you can get kind of a sense of the scale. And there's two open world actual areas you can do as well. The other one has uh, like moose and bears and stuff. This one has deer and... Uh, oh man again the last one if I remember I'll let you know so we're gonna be hunting deer at the moment oh yeah there's also foxes as well oh yeah it's bison like European bison oh this is how we track stuff we can track either their prints on the ground or we can hear them doing their calls so we've seen that was a main call from a fox the foxes are really hard to bring down because they're freaking small and you rarely get close to them. This also has a skill tree, like a couple of different skill trees you can spec into as well, along with leveling up stuff and like perks and things. And you can earn money from your kills and then you can buy more guns, buy better be sights. And you get hints as well from this girl. I'm guessing that track is probably going to be the fox we heard. So obviously it's night right now, but uh, hopefully the sun will come up soon, which should look amazing, like a low sun. It's a very patient game. That's definitely something about this. you got to be patient. But I've, I was playing it yesterday and I probably sunk a good couple of hours into it just slowly stalking stuff and I've got like no desire to do this in reality but it's quite cool to do it in the game and uh, you also get like a detailed breakdown as well of things like when you harvest your kill it'll tell you where you shot it what organs you shot and things like that which is quite amazing so again still got the red fox out there somewhere and the tracks are the red fox. This thing's probably covering a good bit of distance though, which means I'm probably never going to actually track it down and get it. Best bet is going to be to come across a deer sometime later. This is really as well as fast as I can move. I could stand up and walk, but you're pretty much completely visible and this fox will definitely see me. So you got to be stealthy as possible. Of course, we've not got the best cover in here. The little HUD on the right hand side shows your like breathing and heart rate. So if you start running around, it's hard to then aim your gun. The one in the middle is your visibility. So if you stop, I think that's like half visible. If it's just a line, I think it means you're not visible at all. And you've got a little speaker thing that lets you know if you're making a lot of noise. So this fox probably isn't that far away right now. Uh, I don't see him. You can also get this game on the PC and I expect it would look incredible. There he is. Cheeky bugger, man. That's far away. Apparently very easy rating. There's no way I'm going to hit him from here. Like, There's very little chance of me actually managing uh, to catch up with him too. Try and get up to this kind of crossing point. Just 
See, it's seen me just from standing up. Bloody goddamn thing. Yeah, so the foxes are really hard to bring down. I wonder if there's more than one, because that's definitely a completely different area. Don't see nothing though. Alright, he's seen us, so we may as well just run. Get over to this nice tree line. Well, 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 look what we have. I got Chief. Alright, we actually have some lures, so we might be able to lure this guy a little bit closer. He's actually moving pretty quick. It's a mating call. I wonder if he's heading towards the mating call. It's easy as hell to lose these guys. Oh, there he is. So our lure didn't seem to do it. I think it's probably because he's too far away. So we've got one off to the left as well, somewhere. Safe to say, I think I've completely lost the stag that I was tracking. And I don't really want to put the light on to look for footprints. Let's do it though. Okay, we got something up here. Uh, I want to get this down, damn it. I think that'd be a war warning call, but who knows. This isn't really a uh, territory for my... Like, it's better for me on open area so I can see them better. Because they're probably going to see me well before I see them. This is looking amazing, though. <clears throat> this is the thing, you need patience for this because you can easily spend hours tracking down an animal. Yeah, just do not have a nice clearing at all. We do have water behind us, it could be a place to go drink. Oh boy. Oh man, I seem to get him in one shot too. <laughs> the lures worked there, I collected like them off just on top of that hill there. And I guess I lured this one out. So there it is, the poor little deer. So we can actually see. I shot him in the right lung. And that was a one-shot kill. So I got a quick kill bonus, uh, integrity bonus, and no consecutive harvest because it's my first one that I've taken down today. And you can see on the right-hand side, you can flick between different shots if you take multiple shots, which you can do. And yeah, you get uh, XP and cash, and you get like a rating. So this is like the easiest, basically, to bring down. I think they're trivial rating so they're very easy to kill still not really trivial for me though like that was a long time slowly moving through the forest looking for freaking deer but anyway on my adventures I did find this uh, pretty good clearing and I figure this is a very good place to go and continue looking for deer now as I play this more I get XP so I can like uh, unlock skills so I've already been unlocking a couple there's two different um, or, uh, two different skill trees I guess so you got your stalker and your ambusher both pretty different from each other and then you get your perks and this is just kind of simple stuff sprinting and loading 
Um, what's this one? Ability to gauge approximate distance to a target while aiming with any weapon. That's good. So here we are. We can choose to rest. We can then change the time. So let's say like uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. There we go. So now we're rested. We can actually die as well. The animals can attack us. So we see the store here. We've got our rifles. So we can see the different ones. This one, the one I'm, one I'm uh, actually hold on, I can buy it right now. Hmm. Okay, let's buy the 270. Awesome, we've actually got a new gun. Uh, we need some 270 ammo. Uh, so we can get the soft point or we can go for polymer tip for more penetration. But apparently far and less expansion. Interesting. Let's, um, I've never tried any polymer tip weapon uh, ammunition, so let's go with that. Uh, backpack, we then need to get our gun, so I'm going to ditch that one. I bought that one, and it's a piece of rubbish. So we're going to get this one. So we then need to do, do, do the inventory in this game. Not the best. So we're going to use the, it's not, is it that one? It's not there, is it? It is freaking not there. Backpack again. God damn it. Right, we don't want the 223. We want the 270. Okay, the 270 is in my backpack. Okay, so it should be fine. Yay, it's there. 270. So now we can switch to it. It's got no bullets. Shit, we probably need to get the ammunition out of the backpack. Oh man, it's such, it's such a pain in the ass inventory. Like you can basically carry everything. You, your backpack does have a limit, but you can only see I'm, I'm like halfway on my backpack. So really, it should just throw everything in your backpack, I think. It's a right pain in the ass. I get the idea, yeah, you gotta, you gotta use your weapons correctly and all that. That all I bought, really? God damn. And we need a sight as well. Fuck. God, it's a pain in the ass. I bought this sight as well, which is a higher zoom sight. Really hard to use, so I'm not going to use it for the moment. To unlock a better sway control in the perks. Uh, so there we go. Got our sight on our gun. But we need way more ammunition. So, ammo. Was it 270 polymer tip, wasn't it? Uh, I don't actually have enough money to buy anymore. So this is it. We do have our gun with us, though, so it's not like we're out of ammo if we use up all this. But hopefully with a better penetration, we can bring down some bigger game. I think head, yeah, kind of north-ish. So it would be this way. Oh, oh, forgot about that. Something else to show you, which I was surprised this game has. Uh, so, garage. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, apparently that's already out, so we want to request this one, I guess. He 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 he. For some reason, this thing is extra goddamn loud. But um, the actual physics are amazing. Like, driving it is incredible. It's like better than Ghost Recon. Look at it. So this is a real nice way of uh, quickly getting around. And it uh, doesn't cost you any money and you can recover these things and then use them again just from the safety of the place. Awesome. Absolutely love it. I don't know if you can buy more vehicles. I don't think you can. It'd be uh, kind of cool if you could though. So you can see from the map that previously I did indeed get a kill out here. So I actually think I shot this one on the road. I think I was like 
probably about here, I think, roughly. And I was just waiting, and one just basically popped out of a bush right next to me. I had to take a really quick shot. So it actually does seem like quite a nice place to go hunting. There's not as much foliage in the way as there was in that other area. I like the fuels because it gives you very uninterrupted uh, sight lines. The other thing you can do, these question marks, some of them are like um, hides you can build. You can also burn, bring yourself mobile hides that you can put down and get inside. It can be very effective ways of hunting. So we've got an animal in front of us that's seen us and did a warning call. So this is good. Not good that it's seen us, but good that we know there's one out there at least I think this is fields it's kind of got that shape on the map but I do not see a field in front of us we'll see what's down here though so we're going to, be able to see if these bullets do indeed have better penetration so we'll probably go for like a long shot it must be close by the way it must be super close Awful lot of warning calls. It might be picking up the scent. You can see from the mini map that my scent is getting directed ahead of me. It's possible it's picking that up. Damn it, there it goes. You see it running? We're not going to take a shot at him, I don't think. I want something a little bit better than that, if we can. Oh, that's a boar or something. I think I hit it. It's a couple of boar out there. I had it, but I think I had it really badly. So what we can do is we can go check and see if we did indeed hit it. It wasn't a good shot. Bad angle and everything. But, uh, yeah, I should have probably lined up a bit better. See, I'm pretty sure we hit it. But we just need to find the goddamn blood now. Oh, look. It's a non-vital hit, but it does look like it was losing a lot of blood. Where did it go though? Alright, here's the blue trails. It pooped itself right there. More blood. Let's see how it's bleeding. Medium bleed rate, so it is going to bleed out. For sure. Uh, continue this way, there's more blood. There it is again. Probably didn't get out of the field. Oh, there it is. Where did we hit? Wow. That, yeah, that penetration is definitely better than usual. Oof, jeez, what a shot. Like, that's a butt shot and a half, like. So, yeah, we can see that it went through the intestines and the stomach. Damn. So that is a difficult to have very easy. We got a score of 431 and gave us, how much money did we get off this? 847, enough to buy some more bullets. So that wasn't actually that bad a shot anyway. Right, I'm gonna, see we're here and it's a nice, nice area. Like I think we should be able to get some more kills. All right, not seeing anything. So I'm gonna move. Forward. Where? Oh my god, there was one that close the entire time. I don't think he ran out of the field yet. I don't, didn't see him. It looked like he ran and then stopped. I can't believe he was that goddamn close. I'm pretty sure. Just gonna adjust my zoom. I'm pretty sure he did not run away. Could be totally wrong. Maybe he bounded away through the field and all the way out. Damn it, man. 
He does appear to be gone. He must have got away. Can you believe it? There was one that got them close. He's still here. He, yep, there he is. Oh, it's just a tiny little deer. All right. Sorry, tiny little deer. Just make sure it wasn't getting up. I think this is why I couldn't do this in real life. I couldn't really go hunting a deer. Maybe like an old stag, perhaps, but a little deer like this, no way. So we got a right lung. Surprisingly, not that much penetration, I would say. Anyway guys, this is The Hunter, Call of the Wild. It's surprisingly good and I'm probably going to play it and unlock more weapons, get some higher, cal higher caliber weaponry and take on stuff like bison and bear and, and stuff like that. So thanks very much for watching. This is the kind of first look at this game and I think it's pretty cool. Anyway guys, catch you next time. Bye bye.